Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Wild Wonders of Southern Africa. In the last two weeks I was really really lucky to see two different cheetah females with three cubs each. Now what makes that really amazing and lucky is cheetahs aren't that easy to find and these cheetahs I found were in two different nature reserves also. One in Pilansburg Nature Reserve and one in Kruger National Park. Now these reserves are about seven, eight hundred kilometers apart from one another. Now the first female, her name is Pula, which means rain, and she's one of nine cheetahs in the whole reserve. Now of a reserve that's 55,000 hectares, to see four of the cheetahs in one shot, that's almost 50% of the cheetahs seen. And that's really, really lucky. And we were lucky enough to see two of her previous cubs. So that means we saw six of the nine cheetahs. So we were quite lucky. Now here you can see her walking close to the road. And at one point, they actually, unbelievably, they crossed the road right in front of us. Now I was so dumbstruck, I didn't focus on getting nice photographs. I took a couple of videos and you can see it's quite shaky material because I was so excited and um, as they ran over I managed to barely get a couple of shots of the cubs as they ran over. Now this was right before that time. Quite cute. You can see the cubs here they're around about four months old already closer to four and a half. They still have the little bit of white fluff on the back. And this was actually after they crossed the road, so they actually are walking away into the bush at the moment. So I left the photos for after the video material. And here are some of the photos I got. Now the next batch is the batch from Kruger Park. You can see the cheetah cubs are much smaller. These are about three weeks, oh no, not three weeks, about two months old, sorry. And uh, you can see them playing around some uh, elephant dung there. The one cub actually later on climbed right on top of it and rolls around in it. But this female I know quite well because a year and a half ago she had two other cubs that I found. And unfortunately I heard some of the rangers say that those cubs did not make it. Some lions killed them. Now lions are very territorial when it comes to other predators in an area and they would really quite quickly kill them when they find them. That includes hyenas and leopards also. Now lions are the most dominant in the food chain when it comes to predators, except for crocodiles. As soon as lions try and cross a river, they're fair game to the crocodiles. You can see this female, she spotted some impalas on the opposite side and she started stalking. Now instinctively the little cubs they stayed behind but just as she got around this bush Impala somehow they smelled her. You can see the wind is blowing quite a bit this day and they got whiff of her and she then returned but she left the cubs behind and um, for a couple of minutes we lost visual of her and I focused mainly on the cubs you can see the cubs were much closer to us. You can see they're quite fuzzy and furry, cute little fuzzballs. And they're blissfully unaware that a small little Swainson's Franklin is going to come and spoil their fun. Now, this is a little bird that's quite nice to have when you're a guide or when you're a ranger trying to find animals in the bush. These birds readily give me some notification that there is a predator in the area. You'll see the bird's going to pop out in the bottom right hand side of the, the screen in a couple of seconds here. Here you can see him. Now just after this, uh, somehow the female got to the opposite side of the road behind us. We did not know how she got there so quickly. but. Um, then she basically started calling and it's a very very strange sound I couldn't pick it up on the, the, the microphone of the camera but it, it's almost like a, a small cat 
just like that. And um, immediately the little cubs responded and they started running towards her on the other side. And uh, I was lucky enough to get these shots of them running right in front of us. And you can see they're much younger than the previous cubs I showed you. I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, please feel free to share it with your friends and as always please subscribe. Goodbye.